Hey guys, what's up? It's Anna Louise, and today's video is super exciting because I got a mouse. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm sure you can already tell that by the title, but I got a mouse yesterday. And this is him. He is so cute. Basically, before I go on with this video, I just do really want to state really fast that if you saw my last video where it talked about me getting another pet, if you haven't, I'll link it above. This is not the pet that I was talking about from that video. Actually, that video, um, when I made that, I basically had decided a little bit after that to go with rats, and I still will be getting two male rats, so look for that soon, coming to you by next month. Um... Yeah, so I actually did decide on getting rats instead of a mouse. But then this guy came into my life, and basically, if you don't watch my videos, like if you haven't seen them before, I work at PetSmart, and literally playing with the fancy mice is one of my most favorite things to do there when we are not busy. Um, they're just so cute, so sweet, and I absolutely love them. Like, look at their tails. It's so cute. You mess with them, and they just barely kind of wrap them around you. They're so cute. But anyway, I love playing with them. They're so precious. And this guy was super furry, so I just tended to play with him more. Um, and yeah, so I played with him, and then I wanted to show my friend. So my friend came over, and I picked him up. And she looked on him, like on his back, and was like, he has something wrong with him. So we looked, and he did. He had um, a big bite mark, like he was like red and kind of blistered from where... I guess him and his brother either got in a fight or his brother just hurt him. Either that or his brother just hurt him. Um, and yeah, it really made me sad. So we had to put him in isolation because that's what we do um, with the animals that are sick. And we began treatment. So like, if you can tell, I don't know if you can see. Right here, his fur looks kind of greasy. And that is from the medicine that we've been putting on it. But anyway, whenever I had him, like literally I would pick him up. And this is when I was playing with him, or like just, you know, messing around. He would just sit in my hand, just like this, see? Like literally he fits in my hand. And that just made me happy. Like I literally loved the fact that he would just sit there. He didn't try to run away. See, like with me, I like animals that will relatively sit with you and, you know, be still. So that already to me was like awesome as can be. Um, and so we kind of had a bond from that. And then when I put him in his little isolation thing, I just felt so bad. And, like, I just kept thinking about him and, like, playing with him. And then whenever I would give him his medication, like, I would talk to him. And I'm just like, this little guy's so sweet. And then I started to think about how people feed these precious little creatures to their snakes and stuff. And it just uh, it breaks my heart. Which I know snakes have to eat. Like, I'm not saying that. But I am for feeding frozen um, if anything, not, not these guys, not live mice, and so that's all I could think about, and I was like, just sitting there thinking, oh my gosh, like, even if he does get better, or like, when he does get better, he could be flipping bought to be fed to a snake. So, you're not supposed to sell mice at PetSmart for feeder animals, but you know, some people, like, if they come in and they get, like, quite a few, they obviously don't have to tell you what they're doing it for, and you know, that they're pretty much feeding them to their snakes and stuff, so, I don't know, it just broke my heart, and I know I can't save all of them, but, like, this guy, I was just like, I can't have that happen, he's so sweet, he was already bullied by his brothers, um, and yeah, so that's kind of what happened, and also, I mean, I had a bearded dragon, like, I'm not at all, like, saying bad things towards snakes or reptiles. I had to feed them crickets. I didn't even like feeding my bearded dragon crickets. I had to though. It's so, like I know. Um, but anyway, I made the decision to adopt him and I adopted him yesterday. Like, look how little. Look how sweet. So sweet and little. Um, I adopted him yesterday and the thing is, he got home and he was really scared and I was so upset about it. Like, he would squeak. I've never heard him squeak or make noises before. And he did, like, if you touched him, everything like that. So it kind of made me really sad. Um, and then he warmed up to it. But then, then, I got him a cage. And the cage he escaped from. 
yeah. This little fart escaped, which, I mean, I know that they are, like, escape artists. Like, they're really good at escaping and getting out of things, so, but, like, obviously, you know, I've seen tons of different people. Like, I've done research about, you know, them being in cages, and I've seen them in cages, but, like, yeah, he just, he wasn't having it. So now he's in a three-gallon long, not tall, obviously, and it's really cool because the colors, everything matches. I have him a blanket, which you've seen um, probably in the opening clip, and it matches. His theme is kind of red, black, and white since he is black and white. And then I have him like a little pouch where I keep his treats and food and everything. So basically, I'm just excited to show him to you guys today and let you guys know his name. I really wanted to go with a food theme, which I'm also going um, for with my rats. I actually already have my rats' names picked out, even though I don't have them yet. And then for him, I had to look for more food names, and I have decided to go with moose. Um, not moose like the animal moose, but moose like in, you know, the dessert, like the topping, or... Not necessarily has to be a topping, but you get what I'm saying. So, it's moose, and it's spelled like this, instead of the animal way. And the funny thing, too, about it is that moose, like, moose, yeah. There's no plural of, it's not mooses. <laughs> well, moose are, or, let me just say, a moose. That, that sounds so weird. Okay, a moose is huge, a mouse is small. And the funny thing is, too, is that moose, the spelling that his is, is really close to being mouse. You just take off one S. And but basically, in this video, all I really wanted to do is introduce you to him, kind of get to show you him, and show you that he will be on my channel. I will be making little mouse videos, and still be looking out for my male rats, because I am getting them. And also, in my last video, a lot of, a lot of you guys commented about female mice being able to stay together, and I actually knew that. Um, I, pr I should have mentioned that I knew that in my other video, but at that time, I already knew that whatever I got, I did want to be male. I just always gravitate towards male animals, although I do have my cat, who's a girl, and I love her so much. She's my child. But I did know they were going to be a male, so that's why I, I guess I didn't say anything. Um, and, of course, my rats will be males, too. But, anyway... This guy has joined the family, and I really hope you guys like him. He's super sweet, and I can't wait to show him to you guys in more videos. So, I really hope that this wasn't boring to you guys, um, because there wasn't much of doing things. I just, like I said, wanted to introduce you to Moose. And yeah, so I really hope you enjoyed this video, and please make sure to give this a big thumbs up and add me on Snapchat so you can see more of Moose and all of my beta fish, of course. And my Snapchat name is It's Anna Louise 20 and it will be on the screen below. And also, please, 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 if I can get this little guy under control, please give this a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe, which you can do by hitting my face right here, and you can watch another one of my videos by clicking right here, and it would mean the world to me if you would do so, and to Moose. Yeah, I hope you have a great day or night or whenever you may be watching this, and I'll see you guys in my next video.